then nice to talk to you. Um, with that in mind, then just describe to us about how you are at the minute, how you're kind of feeling, where you, where your head is at, because you've you've had a bit of a knock and a suspension, but you came back last week. How are you how are you kind of feeling? Um, finding my feet again. Obviously, I didn't play last game was 12th of November, I think. So my first game back Saturday, thought I'd get for the 90 in my head, but got for the 70. Is it is it difficult when you got to try and come back after a not not a long period, but you know, a period where you've obviously been quite frustrated to immediately snap back into that mindset of being starting straight away. Um, when you're winning and you're watching the team win, it makes it a lot easier to sit at home injured. And, but personally, to get back was the main thing to just get back out of the boys. And um, when you play, I think everybody can see the impact that you make as well. Um, uh, when when you come back into the team, is there a little bit of part of you go right? And I need to kind of. Not show everybody what I'm about, but you know this is the difference I can make to the team when I play because of my strengths. Um, we all with different strength. Uh, me, James, Nepo, all with different strength. You can play Gav, but so we all bring something different to the table, and I think I, I feel like I bring something different to them. With with that in mind, in the competition that you just talked about there, I suppose sometimes you have to accept that you're not going to play every week, particularly particularly here as well. Uh, uh, but I know the manager's got a lot of faith in you, so I suppose you've got to strike the right balance. Really. Um, you can be, um, you can sit uh, resting in laurels. You can be complacent, get complacent about it all. You've got to keep working hard and and try to keep your spot because the gaffer changes the team every week. And fortunately, uh, when I'm I've been fit, I've played. And you've got a pretty good goal scoring record up to this point as well. You're still top scorer as well. That's the that's the main thing. But um, you know how difficult is it to once you've been out to get back into that into that run of, of scoring goals again? Is that tough? Um, not to the been out even before I was injured. I went I'm going for a little bit of a dry spot. Uh, dry spot. Um, hopefully start scoring again soon. I don't want to end on seven goals. I want to end on seventeen goals or whatnot. It, it, is that something though that like when you're a centre forward? Are you judged only on your goals, or is it something that in in the modern game where you're judged on much more than just being a goal scorer, like your hold up play and, and that type of stuff? Depends who's judging. Um, I'm I'm a winner. I want to win games. I don't care about scoring 47 goals and becoming bottom of the table. If we get promoted and I score seven, I'm scored the rest of the season. I'm fine with that. What's Christmas like when, as a footballer when you're coming into this period? Because a lot of people are kind of clocking off now, aren't they? So what's it like for um, you boys? For me personally, nothing's changed since 16. I've always been in this routine, and apart from last season, which shocked me because we didn't have a game. But for me, it's fine. It's the job. It is my job at the end of the day. I can't say, look, after this Christmas, I need to spend with the family, the kids. I just come to work and do my job. How do they feel about that, though? Um, Mrs. I've been with her a very long time, so she's used to... This we got a new baby and a two year old, but if I train on Christmas Day or, or got a game boxing day, I just go with the parents in the morning. That's nice, isn't it? Have you got them anything nice? <laughs> You're not going to tell them, <laughs> are you? <laughs> in case um, he watches. Yeah, in case he's watching it. Um, last thing, though, obviously, um, you know, you've set yourself up for a pretty decent second half of the season now. Just talk to us a little bit about the confidence that's that's within the team at the minute and, and where you feel you can go over the next, say, six months or so. The, team, the team's flying. If you would have asked us that season, if we'd have been 11th this time, of, uh, this part of the season, we would have probably took your hand off. Now we can push it a lot higher than that. I, I know the team's got the same motivation is me and that we want to hit playoffs, we want to get promoted and that's that's the aim. We don't want to sit in League One for the next three, four years when we've got a good chance of getting promoted this year. Nice. I suppose the fact is we've got this weather here now and you can't do anything about it. That's the frustrating point being a footballer, isn't it really? The fact that you've been injured, you haven't had the game time, then all of a sudden we hit with the weather. That's even more frustrating, isn't it, in the job you do? Yeah, that's that's tearing out your hands. Um, but if we come to the game, it's, it's not safe to play on these pitches at the moment. It's not safe for the fans to walk around, there's, there's ice everywhere. So it's more down to safety than us playing a game of football. But an enforced break, does it help in terms of the way you can concentrate again on maybe what you want to do and what you want to put back in when you do get back into action? It depends on what run of form you're at. At the time, if you're in a good run of form, you do not want to break, which we have been on a good run of form. But if you're in a, going through a bad spell, you, you need the break. You need the break mentally. If you've lost the last five, six games, you want to have, have that break to recoup and go again.